Recently we've been studying parametric equations, but up to this point we haven't really done anything related to calculus with them, and that's what we want to look at in this video. Uh, specifically, given a, a set of parametric equations, we would like to know how do, you, how do you find the slope on one of these curves. Now typically we would say you take a derivative, but um, our derivative rules that we learned earlier aren't really adaptable to these because we have we have an equation for x and an equation for y. Do we differentiate x or do we differentiate y or do we put them together somehow? It's a little just a little unclear as to how we would find the slope of a set of parametric equations or a parametric curve. So let's say x equals f of t and y equals g of t and it generates this white parametric curve here. And let's say we've we've chosen a point on that curve based off of some time value, time equals blank, and, and we want to know the slope there. Well, here's how it works. The dy dx, the change in y over the change in x, the slope at that point will be given by dy dt divided by dx dt. And that's totally doable because y is a function of t and x is a function of t. So how I've defined x and y, we basically have g prime over f prime. The only caveat is you have to make sure that your dx dt is not zero at that point uh, because if there's no change in x, you get a vertical tangent line and your slope would be undefined. So anyway, if x and y are defined this way, then this would be your equation for how to find the slope of a parametric curve. So one thing to remember before we do an example is that this slope is going to be in terms of t because x and y are in terms of t. So when you differentiate x and y with respect to t, expect this equation over here on this side to have t's in it. All right, let's look through a, a basic example here. Let's say x equals 2t squared minus 3, and let's say y equals 8t plus 7, and I'd like the slope at t equals negative 1. Now, I, I chose this uh, t value for another reason as well. We've been coming at these parametric equations from the angle of time, and, and that's certainly true. We do use parametric equations all the time to model the position of a projectile or a particle moving or whatnot, but tr truth be told, it doesn't have to represent time. Really, this, this set of parametric equations is just in terms of a parameter t. Normally, we associate that with time, but it doesn't have to be. So the t, t could be positive or negative. Granted, if it was an actual word problem and representing time, it would usually be positive. But just know that it doesn't have to be positive. But anyway, that, that's, that has nothing to do with exactly what we're looking at in this video. So what I've done here is I've drawn the parametric curve here. This The black line is representing this set of parametric equations. And when t is negative 1, you would be at the point negative 1, negative 1. Just plug in negative 1 for t. And so you would be right here. So I, I want the slope of this pink line right here. That's, that's really what I'm after. All right, so what I'll do is I will t take dy dx to be the derivative of y. So this was the dy dt and divide it by the dx dt. Okay, so let's do that. The derivative of y with respect to t would be 8 and the derivative of x with respect to t would be 4t. So we'll have dy dx equal to 2 over t because the 8 and the 4 are going to cancel. And you've, you're probably familiar with this notation. Uh, if you want to evaluate the slope at a particular point, you can draw a vertical line and then put t equals negative 1 in the lower right-hand corner. And that means we're going to take this derivative and plug in negative 1. And when we do, we see we get a value of negative 2. So this slope will give you the slope at any given t value. Well, we just plugged in a specific t value, t value of negative 1. And so you look at the pink line, that's, that looks totally reasonable. A, a slope of negative 2 could certainly be the slope of this uh, pink line that we have right here. So basically this is all we do. We um, take the derivative of y with respect to t, take the derivative of x with respect to t, divide them, and that'll give you the slope of a parametric curve at any given value of t.